Cubs hosting the Padres, and the Padres are minus 115 on the money line. The Cubs are minus 105. The over-under is 9.5 runs. The Padres, laying a run and a half on the run line, are plus 140, while the Cubs, getting a run and a half on the run line, are minus 170. Neither one of these pitchers have pitched against the opposing team either last year or this year. Head-to-head, the road team is 8-2. and two. These teams are 5-5 five and five against each other in their last 10. The favorites on a two-game winning streak. The favorite is 5-5 five and five on the money line. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 6-4. and four. There's only been one one-run game in their last 10 meetings, none in their last four. The under is hit in their last two. The under is 6-4. and four. And the under nine and a half runs is six and four. They played today, and the Cubs won six to nothing. I'm not going to go back to the games that they did last year because I'd like to have some more relevant information. Now, in their last handful of games overall, the Padres are uh, two and two in their last four, and they're five and five in their last ten. We've had nine runs, eight runs, twelve runs, and six runs combined in their last four games. They scored no runs in a loss. Five runs in a win, seven runs in a win, and they got shut out by the Cubs. So they've been shut out twice in their last four games. For the Cubs, they are two and two in their last four as well, and they are six and four in their last ten games. We've had 13 runs, 13 runs, 10 runs, and six runs. They scored 13 runs in a win, four runs in a loss, three runs in a loss, and six runs in a win. I understand that the numbers say to take the Padres here. But I don't trust the Padres with Waka on the mound and looking at his ERA. I'm going to take the Cubs here. I like the Cubs with the money line. I like the Cubs getting the runs. I'm going to go under in this game even though Waka's ERA is high. Right now the wind is at like 10 miles an hour in Chicago. If that picks up, consider taking the over. Everything with Wrigley Field is the wind. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.